Okay, I just finished grocery shopping. I wish people would have told me about these food swaps when I first started my fitness journey, but we are not gatekeepers here. No, ma'am. I'm going to share with you my grocery swaps to drastically cut calories, get bikini season ready, get healthier, and lean out so much easier without sacrificing foods that I love. Welcome to episode five of this bikini prep series. And if you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm Anita. I'm a Bachelor of Health Science graduate, a huge fitness enthusiast, and an online fitness coach. I've done three bikini competitions in my 20s and two of them I won overall bikini champion one of them I actually coached myself to the stage won that overall bikini champion title and then I was also able to go on to provincials and compete there and in this series I'm doing a mock bikini prep as we get ready for a vacation in the crib I figured you know what let's like lean out a little bit and let's prep for bikini season in the Caribbean so if you're looking for ways to cut back on calories so that you can also get in that caloric deficit to see a fat loss, feel healthier, and look better for summer, then this episode is for you. I'm gonna share all of my grocery swaps in this episode. Let's dive right in. Okay, so when I am eating in a caloric deficit, I always aim to keep protein high and to have it come from lean sources of meat, like boneless, skinless chicken breast, white fish like mahi-mahi, cod or halibut, super high protein and no fat, ground turkey or ground chicken, eggs, flank steak, because animal protein can have a lot of fat and fat is a high calorie macronutrient. So being mindful of the calories coming from fat can slash a lot of calories. So when I'm eating for fat loss, I'll swap regular bacon for turkey or chicken style bacon because one slice of bacon has 19 grams of fat and is 220 calories. Meanwhile, one slice of chicken style bacon is 35 calories and only two grams of fat. Another swap I'll make is making my breakfast scrambles and omelets more egg whites than whole eggs. This will slash fat again while still keeping the protein high. Since fat is an essential nutrient for our hormones and protein is an essential nutrient for maintaining muscle while in bikini prep or in a fat loss phase, carbs is where I'll tend to cut my calories from. An easy way to slash calories from carbs is to swap flavored oatmeal for plain oatmeal and add your own add-ins so that your calories are coming from real whole foods instead of sugar. Another swap I like to make is cauliflower rice for regular rice. It's low calorie, low carb. Even just swapping out half of my rice for cauliflower rice helps me slash calories without missing carbs. But when I do have rice, I like pre-portioned packs like these so that I can control how many carbs I'm eating. I love avocado toast just as much as the next person, so I like to swap regular bread for bread slices that are thinner because they end up being less carbs. Or I'll cut carbs from bread almost entirely by switching to a protein bread like these ones that are also high in fiber. For instance, this bread is 15 grams of protein per slice and only four grams of carbs, making it perfect for avocado toasts. If you're craving spaghetti, you've got to try spaghetti squash. Again, it's a vegetable, so it's super low carbs and still full of vitamins and minerals. Something as simple as eating 30 grams of fiber each day can help you lose weight, lower your blood pressure, and improve your body's response to insulin. So I like to swap granola or other breakfast cereals for a high fiber cereal. But watch out, they can still be high in sugar, so my favorite is Fiber One, which is zero grams of sugar per serving. Okay, let's talk snack swaps. I originally used to swap candy for fruit snacks like Welch's, but there's so many ingredients in it, and year after year, I'm trying to eat a little bit cleaner than the last. So I've fallen in love with That's It fruit bars. They're individually wrapped, which is perfect for sticking in your gym bag or purse, and each fruit bar contains only two ingredients. That's it. Now, if you're not into fruit bars and you want something closer to candy, Smart Sweets is a good swap. 
made with zero sugar alcohols, which can cause digestive upset for some people, especially for people with irritable bowel syndrome. These plant-based snacks are very high in fiber and contain zero sugar. Another snack swap I've made is granola bars or snack bars for these simply protein bars. These bars are higher in protein and fiber and lower in sugar and carbs than your regular granola bar. They're also gluten-free and vegan and super yummy with a coffee in my opinion. Next snack swap is to swap for baked chips and snacks over fried. My favorites include crispers, popcorners, crispy minis, goldfish crackers, and switching to baked or popped over fried will seriously slash calories from fat, helping you get into that caloric deficit easily. Okay, this one may seem weird to you, but when I'm eating in a caloric deficit, I'll swap out fruit like bananas, apples, and pears for berries. Berries are lower in carbs and higher in in fiber, so they'll still keep you fuller for longer, plus they have the added benefit of antioxidants. The most effective dairy swap I think you can make is swapping regular yogurt and pre-mixed yogurts for plain Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has more protein and less sugar while still having the high levels of vitamins and minerals. I like to mix mine with fresh berries, cinnamon, a small amount of nut butter, and honey, and sprinkle a bit of Fiber One cereal instead of granola, and boom, a nice healthy breakfast parfait loaded with protein, fiber, and nutrients. Another dairy swap I've made is regular milk for this protein milk. Just one cup of milk gives you 18 grams of protein. So I love using this with my Fiber One cereal for a quick high protein, high fiber breakfast. If you want to slash even more calories, I ditch milk altogether for a dairy-free alternative like oat milk or almond milk. And I get the unsweetened versions to limit sugar. This is a great alternative for making smoothies with, and I replace my creamer for this in my coffee. When I'm eating in a caloric deficit, nothing bothers me more than wasting calories on drinks instead of food. I never used to think of drinks as having calories, but so many carbs and sugar comes from drinks. So I totally cut out pop and I replaced it with a zero sugar carbonated beverage like Zevia. Zevia, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I love these and they come in so many different flavors. Okay, my guilty pleasure isn't coffee, it's monster energy drinks. The carbonation keeps me full and the caffeine gives me energy, but I've never had a regular monster because oh my goodness, there's just so much sugar and carbs in it. So I always drink the Ultra Monsters, which is their sugar-free line of energy drinks. They also come in so many different flavors and I love all of them. Bubbly sparkling water has become a refreshing summer favorite for me, especially when it comes to alcohol alcohol swaps. I'll swap out high sugar alcoholic drinks for drinks like White Claws, or I'll make my own vodka soda with these. And lastly, swap out fruit juices for cold pressed juice. Fruit juices can be full of added sugar, preservatives, or flavorings. So if you're really craving juice, swap for a cold pressed juice instead. It's made from real fruit and vegetables, there's no added sugars or artificial sweeteners, and it's full of nutrients. My go-to cold pressed juice company is Dose. They juice it, bottle it, and deliver it right to your door, making the swap so much easier and cheaper than buying it from the grocery store. The link is in the description below if you want to browse their juices. Like drinks, condiments are something that are an easy swap to slash calories and help you get in that caloric deficit. One rule of thumb I use is to swap white for red. White sauces are typically full of fat and lead us to overindulge, whereas red sauces tend to come straight from the source, tomatoes, and are low in calories and contain little to no fat. Another red sauce condiment favorite of mine is salsa, and I love mixing it up with my ground turkey or ground chicken, my rice, or my omelets and scrambles for breakfast. And same goes for hot sauces like Frank's Red Hot or Sriracha, which can add a little more flavor for little to no calories. I used to always think if I was having a salad, I was automatically eating less calories than having a burger. But that is so not true. Salad dressings are full of calories, and we are never sticking to their two tablespoon serving size. I probably have around four 
four times that amount for what I'd consider a tasty salad. And no wonder, it's full of fat. So stick to making your own salad dressings at home instead. And when it comes to condiments like mayonnaise, I ditch it all together during a bikini prep. It's just so high in fat and calories. But if you absolutely can't live without mayonnaise, I'd swap for an organic brand and try doing half mayo and half Greek yogurt to cut the fat and increase the protein. Another condiment swap is regular peanut butter for natural peanut butter. Though the calories are the same, this one is an easy swap for me to make just to cut out the weird ingredients and added sugars for natural whole ingredients like just peanuts. Once I made the switch to natural peanut butter, when I did go back and have regular peanut butter again, I couldn't believe how fake and sweet it tasted. You may never think about the calories from fat you get from just cooking things, but it can add up really quick. So an easy way to slash calories from cooking is to use spray oil instead of regular oil. For example, two teaspoons of regular extra virgin olive oil can bring in 80 calories and we all use more than two teaspoons of olive oil to cook whereas a one second spray of spray oil uses only 10 calories okay I feel like this video was jam-packed with bikini prep grocery haul swaps that you can make to drastically slash calories to help you get into that caloric deficit and see the fat loss that you're looking for hit that like button if you got any value or help out of this so that but it can help the next person see this video to help them get some grocery haul inspo for their fat loss journey. And hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to the channel already to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one.